Hello nerds, today we are going to study about nutrition of bacteria. Like all other living organisms, bacteria they also need energy for their growth, maintenance and reproduction. And this energy they are going to be obtained by the process of nutrition. So on the basis of nutrition, there are two types of bacteria, heterotrophic and autotrophic. The heterotrophic bacteria, they cannot synthesize their own organic compounds from inorganic substances. It means that heterotrophic bacteria, they are dependent on other organisms for their food. It means that they, the other organisms, they are going to prepare their food and the heterotrophic bacteria, they are going to utilize that. There are two types of heterotrophic bacteria. One is saprophytic, the other one is parasitic. The saprophytic bacteria get their food from the dead organic matter. For example, the dead organisms or the dead plant material, they are going to feed on them. They will get their organic material to form their own uh, organic material. The soil is full of organic compound in the form of humus. Now, the humus is the material which results from the partial decay of plants and animals. For example, some plant or animals, they died and then they are buried in the soil. After the passage of time, that organism and the plant, they are going to be partially degraded, not completely, but partially degraded. That In that form, they are known as humus. Soil bacteria, they are actually working on that animals and plants dead body and using their enzymes they are going to digest them and break down their complex substances to the simpler compounds it means that complex substances is going to be broken down into the smaller substances or simpler substances and then the bacteria or the saprophytic bacteria are going to utilize them to make their own organic food and that organic food it will be the source of their energy the example of saprophytic bacteria is E. coli. Moving towards the parasitic bacteria, as the name indicates, the parasitic bacteria, they are going to cause the disease in the organisms. And during the process of causing the disease, they are going to utilize the material or organic matter produced by that particular organism. So they are fully dependent on their host for the nutrition and then they are going to cause the disease the example of parasitic bacteria is salmonella typhi which causes the typhoid fever and diplococcus pneumonia which causes the pneumonia so these two bacteria what they are going to do they are going to attack the system of the humans they are going to use their organic matter or their food for their own energy and in return they are going to cause the disease then comes the autotrophic bacteria auto means that automatically and these type of bacteria they can synthesize their own organic compounds for their own survival and they are not dependent on some kind of host or that decaying matter there are two types of autotrophic bacteria photosynthetic and chemosynthetic the photosynthetic bacteria they possesses chlorophyll which is dispersed in their cytoplasm but their chlorophyll is different from the chlorophyll which is present in the plant so in the presence of sunlight they are going to produce their own food but instead of water for the hydrogen source they are going to utilize hydrogen sulfide and when they are going to prepare their food they will use that hydrogen and then release the sulfide in the form of sulfur so when the phototrophic bacteria are generating their food they are generating sulfur gas instead of oxygen gas which is originally generated by the plants the example of uh, photosynthetic bacteria is green sulfur bacteria, purple sulfur bacteria. Then comes the chemosynthetic bacteria. As the name indicates that it is related to some kind of chemical. So they are going to oxidize inorganic compounds such as ammonia, nitrate, sulfur or ferrous ion and then going to utilize the energy which is released during their synthetic process. Mostly the nitrifying bacteria which are nitrosomnas, nitrococcus or nitrobacteria are the example of chemosynthetic bacteria. These bacteria they are present in the root nodules of the plants like this here and then they are going to utilize the ammonia or going to utilize the nitrate for their own energy. So that was all about the nutrition in bacteria. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video.